Ugh. YouTube, what's going on? Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and apologies for the hat and the full hoodie. We're in the middle of a polar vortex. It's negative 15 degrees here in Detroit, and my basement feels like it's negative 15 degrees as well. But the videos must go on, and today I have a very special video for you. This is the $100 smart home challenge because a lot of people say smart home stuff is too expensive and I agree it is pretty expensive, but we're going to take $100 and see what we can do for a smart home. What type of things can we build? What type of kit can we get? If you're ready like I'm ready, hang on to your butts boys and girls. We're about to get smart. This video is sponsored by Skillshare.com. I know you've heard of Skillshare.com, but if not, let me tell you about it. Skillshare is an online community with hosted premium tutorials for pretty much anything. If you wanna learn how to use Photoshop or edit videos, there are dozens of classes for that too. They're running a very special deal right now. The first 500 people from this video to sign up will get two months of premium service for free. At the end of the video, I will show you two of my favorite classes that I'm currently in right now to enhance my skills. Link is down below. All right, starting off, we need some voice assistance. We're gonna go with Google Home to start off as I find it just a little bit better than Echo. You can get a Google Home Mini for 25 bucks and with the extra money, you can get this additional mount for $9. This makes the Google Home look a little bit cooler. You can also hide it. You can put it behind a desk or you can put it behind a shelf. You can just have this kind of a stealth installation and it's extremely clean. You don't see any wires. You just route it behind this and you plug it right into a wall. The Google Dot is $5 more and I don't think the audio is as good as the Google Home Mini, but there are plenty of mounts you can add to the Google Dot, but then that puts you over the $100 budget. So we wanna stay under $100. We're going with the Google Home Mini for $25. Next up is the Elect City Wi-Fi Smart Plug 2-Pack and this goes for $20. And what a smart plug does, it just makes a plug that you already have into a plug you control with your phone. And what's nice about that is that you can program it to your Google Home to turn off and on with a voice command. So right now I have it hooked up to a lamp, so I can just tell my Google Home to turn off the lamp or turn on the lamp, and it does it right for my voice. It also has a pretty unique app that tells you energy usage information, like how much energy it's using and how much energy you're saving over time by using a smart plug. This app also lets you do schedules for the plug. You can set a timer so like in one hour, turn off the plug. And there's an away mode where the switch turns off and on automatically to simulate someone being at home. Comes with a two year warranty, has some pretty decent ratings too. And it's really not bad for $20. You can get a lot of functionality out of it. Next up is the Wisecam. I cover this in a previous video and I will link that down below. But for $25, it's a camera you can access anywhere in the world. It's crazy to think that it's 25 bucks. However, it's shockingly good enough to where it was $50, it'd still be a really good value. It has some really nice features too for the price, like SD card support, has a magnetic base that allows you to mount it anywhere you want, 14 days of free cloud storage, and smoke and carbon monoxide detection. The picture isn't perfect by any means, but it's a good enough camera so you can see what's happening. You can put it on a porch, put it in the playroom to kind of see what the dog is doing, make it a nanny cam. It's flexible enough where you can use it and it's cheap enough where if it breaks or if someone takes it or steals it, it's really not a big deal. Also, if you have multiple ones right in the app, you can access all the cameras, you can set your recording and all those things you can do in the more expensive cameras. And like I said, 25 bucks is one of those why not purchases. Last but not least is the Casa Smart LED Bulb. For $20, you get a smart bulb. It's not a bulb that you can change colors, but you can set all the brightness, you can set um, different schedules, you can do vacation mode where the bulb turns off and on automatically, you can set rules, and also it's compatible with Google Home and if this then that, so you can incorporate that into a scene into Google Home. So for example, you can say, turn on the kitchen light, and if that bulb is somewhere in the kitchen or named kitchen, it will then turn on. So if you take the smart plug, then you take the smart light, you take the Google Home, and you take the camera, you have yourself a pretty decent smart home setup for only $100. And a lot of people wanna know why have smart bulbs? Because smart bulbs give you flexibility to turn them off and on no matter where you're at, and a great place to have them is like a bedside lamp. I find it really convenient just to tell my Google Home to turn on my bedside lamp and it turns on. And you can also do that with a smart plug too, but it really just depends on how you wanna tackle it. 
Anyways, guys, this is Kevin the Tech Ninja signing off for a smarter home. And if you like this type of video or you like this series, let me know down below what budget and what you're looking for because I like to kind of build these packages that are more affordable. Because as I know, covering smart home stuff can get pretty expensive pretty fast. Anyways, guys, have a great day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. So as promised, my two favorite classes on Skillshare. This one by Benjamin for color correction for beginners and this class by Duncan Ragoff. This is creative storytelling. I always wanna make my videos look better so color correction is a great way of doing that. And creative storytelling helps me organize my thoughts when I'm making these videos. Once again, sign up. You get two months free for the first 500 people using my link down below, Skillshare.com.